Voters in northeastern Wisconsin were faced with a rare circumstance on the ballot today. Right now, Madison Rios is continuing your voice, your vote coverage with a breakdown of where the race currently stands and what the outcomes could mean for voters come November. Amber, Brandon, the results of the 8th Congressional District race in northeastern Wisconsin are still pending. This is a unique ballot for voters because former U.S. Representative Mike Gallagher shocked Republicans with his surprise resignation on April 24th. Gallagher's resignation was just outside of the required time frame to hold an immediate special election, forcing Governor Tony Evers to put both a special election vote and a general election vote on today's ballot. This is what the vote is looking like so far for the unexpired term. The GOP winner of this vote will face Dr. Kristen Lyerly in the special election come November. Let's move on to what the general election vote is looking like. This is what the vote looks like so far. WKOW will not be calling any elections tonight. We will be waiting for Associated Press to make that call. Now, should the same GOP candidate win the special election and the general election, they will be the only GOP candidate facing Lyerly in the November election. Whoever wins the special election will serve the remainder of Gallagher's term from November 2024 to January 2025. If the vote splits, where one candidate wins the special election and a second GOP candidate wins the general election, each one will go head-to-head -head with Lyerly on their own respective ballots. Whoever wins general election will serve the normal two-year term from January 2025 to January 2027. In both scenarios, the vote could be split between Lyerly and the chosen GOP candidate or candidate. Candidates. All three GOP candidates pointed to the fact that Northeastern Wisconsin is historically GOP dominated, but Larry tells me she has faith in Democratic voters in the area. Come November, voters in this area will be faced with another rare ballot.